Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds, back again. Lukey, what's up, dude? Not much. Ready to talk about an awesome new feature on Smart Fishing Spots. Yeah, and that's why we've got Nick with us. Nick <laughs> is now what? You, this is five, six podcasts. You're I know, uh, quite I, the that's... recurring, uh, not host, recurring guest. <laughs> well, you know, every time we roll out a new feature, I'm on here, so. So if you are watching this, you probably already saw the title. This is how to quickly, one of the easiest ways now to get every single reef, wreck, barge, anything you can imagine that's down there underneath the water from Texas all the way up. We're trying to get it all the way across the eastern uh, coast. I think we're missing a couple states, but we're getting getting all of that. And uh, it's amazing what some of these states because they have all this data and they're doing a good job of collecting it and making it accessible to us to be able to pull in here they show everything they show what material it's made of and we even have some color-coded um little basically those little dots to identify every spot it's got the gps coordinates got what it's made of how much of it is there the depth I and mean, it's got all this crazy info and uh we've personally used this to catch some fish nick is personally use this to catch some uh, some fish, even some nice fish like inshore. We're not going to give mm-hmm. up that spot unless Nick is just dying to give up his uh, his honey hole. But this is all from the same spots that we're finding here. So if you're uh, listening, you probably want to watch this, or if not, go in there in your own smart fishing spots. Uh, this is all part of smart fishing spots. If if we weren't clear on that, and uh, that is something that's complimentary to our insider members. And if you don't have it, then you should probably stop what you're doing right now and sign up. But if you're watching it, Nick is about to here in, in three, two, one ish. Uh, probably click a little button and spots will appear. It's going to look like a little kid with a severe, <laughs> severe case of chicken pox. Maybe one of the worst cases ever. There's so many red dots. Yeah. So let me, uh, I'll just walk you through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our layers tool right here and we just click on the, the menu here and then click on layers. And then you can see all our different layers. And now there's a new one called artificial reefs. And then once I click this, I can zoom into an area that I'm interested in and it's going to start highlighting all of the reefs in this view. And then to the left here at the bottom left, we've got uh, the legend. So it'll tell us if it's an artificial reef, if it's a barge or if it's a ship. And then those dots correspond with that color, so you know what it is. So I can I can zoom in here a little bit more, and I can click this one, and it'll tell me exactly uh, what what the reef structure is, uh, what the depth, uh, the relief that's that's the size or the height off the floor uh, the, of the of the ocean there, and then um, longitude and latitude, uh, the reef size. The date it was deployed. So any information we have on that reef, we're going to include it in this info window. Um, so I can just kind of navigate around and and uh, and show you what they look like. So this is now Man, getting up look at into that the cluster up there in the Pensacola yeah, this, area. Holy this, smokes! This is getting up into the Panhandle area, and it's it's loaded. And these are all different kinds of reefs. We've got, um, let's see. Not sure what these are, but there's 23 tons of it, and uh, it's in 134 feet, and they, it rises up about six feet off the floor bed. Yeah, what's what's amazing? I've been using it out of St. Pete. If you zoom in, Nick, and get in the mm-hmm. this is the same platform that has the the high res bottom relief imagery, and so you can literally at least for off St. Pete, I assume the ones over there. But I've been using it where I can zoom in and I can see where every little item is. In that way, when I'm positioning myself, because it works on the phone, and uh, and I've been getting out in the seven mile reef off of St. Pete, and I can literally see exactly where I am relative to the tanks that are down there, which are the big, the big, uh, big blocks, and then the small like pilings and stuff. Really amazing how how you can see not only just where it is on this high, um, the, you know the the high overview, but you can really zoom in and see exactly where those items are. So a little bit north of Egmont, Nick. Is it north of Egmont? Yeah, the one I've been going to, but there's another okay. one right there. That one's really small. So the the one north of Egmont is just really cool because you can just see the the scattering of it and just make sure yeah you're right there in the middle. Uh, is this it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I can look at that. Yeah. So because there the, the phone access is great, so I can literally be on the phone. You can see that big old tank right there. Um, oh right yeah, right. army tank. Yeah. So 
and then on the south side is a bunch of little smaller stuff but but just it's just really cool to be able to see what's down there whereas before it was all a guessing game now you can literally see from the comfort of your own home but you can't actually take it on the water um, just to make sure that you're exactly where you think you're you're supposed to be but and you're, and you're still exporting this stuff or you have the ability to right luke to put it on your your unit for your boat yeah, for that one, I, I mean, I already have it on there, so I didn't bother doing that. But for for new ones that I go to, I just pick like the four corners, and I just upload that into the GPS unit. That way, I know as long as I'm within those those four, you know, within that quadrant, then I then I'm in the right area. Exactly. So, like when you do your pre trip, you could just go in here in the routes and create a route and go from you know each little artificial reef that you're going to go to, and then export that and put it into your um, your fish finder, your chart planner. Yeah, next level, right? So like years before, it was just really guessing. I mean, you kind of get, oh yeah, I got the lat longitude of of this reef, but in, it's rare that it's just one spot. It's usually a variety of spots, and usually the best areas are away from the main the main GPS coordinates that they can probably get online. And then when you when you use this, you can you can really pinpoint a lot of the the uh, the, the parts of it that are a little bit off on the edges. Those seem to hold the the most big fish that are that are willing that. to eat. Yeah, that's awesome right there. Yeah, this so, area is just loaded. This is uh, decking and rails from bridges. And you can just see them down there. That's crazy. Yeah, so this is really just combined the, the just the location aspect of it, which a lot of areas, uh, other areas have, but then it combines it with the the bottom layer to make it something that I've ne I don't know if, I've never seen this before anywhere else. And it yeah, is I haven't... incredibly helpful. Yeah, I haven't either. Where you have the the artificial reefs and the high res layers, the bathymetric views. So it takes so, a lot of a lot of widget, widgetry from uh, from Nick here, <laughs> but it really results in in just an amazingly helpful platform. This is because uh, I'm I'm still new to this this near shore reef fishing, and this has been an absolute game changer. I don't even bother with live bait. I've just been using power bronze, and have been having an absolute blast out there. Yeah. And, and you've been catching fish, Luke, is someone who, as you've said, you're not a, a nearshore or offshore guy doing this kind of by yourself, if you will, using smart fishing spots and using lures. You can only imagine how many more, probably more fish, you, and you obviously lose a whole lot more bait, but how many fish you'd probably be catching if you were out there, you know, using squid or shrimp or something else. Uh, crazy. Check this one out. 100 foot freighter seized by U.S. Customs. One of three sunk this day. And that neat? That's got that kind of information. 2001. Uh, yes. Now we're over on. For those listening, we're over on the Atlantic side, and there's a, just a lot of big ships out there. That's how deep is that? I guess that's 100, only 120. Yeah. And you can see them as clear as day. I mean, it. It's nuts that you can see the exact ship. Yeah. Yeah, and so this information you can actually upload onto your phone. So if you are going to get, you know, out of um, out of cell range, is you can actually you know hard code it on your phone and, and have it there. the The GPS locator should work, or obviously get it into your your depth finder unit, and it'll be there as well. But um, super helpful. This kind of Any... reminds me. That... Yeah, go, go ahead. For it. No, go for it. No, I was just I was just gonna say this kind of reminds me of that battleship game, you know, where they got the pieces and little dots <laughs> on it. B four. <laughs> you, sink, you sink my battleship <laughs> um crazy so l l do you mind sharing luke some just tips or nick on on exporting because i know that's a question that we've seen i know we've done a couple of videos on it yeah and, yeah go for it I, I can do a quick little demo um so basically with the route tool you can create routes right so you click you just go over here click this route button click on new and then from here you just start clicking and you can actually click the the areas that you want to go to. And you basically come up with your plan of where you're going to fish that day. And then when you're done, you hit finish route. Okay. Uh, you can add notes to each point. It gives you the longitude and latitude of each point. And when you're good with everything, you can save it. And I'm going to do, uh, actually, I'm on a local version here. Let me hop over. Mm -hmm. fancy pants yeah yeah man, uh, maybe even maybe even pick some actual like go out to some of these reefs or yeah, that, really that's, actually, like, do it. yeah that's more the question is you know because I, I know someone's going to see this so all right i want the actual gps spots of this reef 
or so what do you want me to do? Sorry, is. I had to. That that's my local development version. So what did you want me to do? Let's just pretend we're going to go out of St. Lucie Inlet down there, um, and then all see that big old that conglomerate of of spots right here. Yeah, yeah right there. And so let's okay. just say we're going to go out, and we want to we want to fish like eight or nine of those spots that are all relatively close to each other. You know, we want to just pinpoint. Let's say the uh, we want to go from south to north based on the currents and wind, and then okay. you know, how would we just pinpoint each one and then do that route? Okay, so what I would do is go under routes tool, click on new, and then let's say we're going to come out of this inlet, and then you can click, and I can zoom in here and start clicking the different uh, reefs that I'm going to go to. Do we, right. did we lose? Do we lose the uh, the the clear bottom imagery? Gotta be able to see the see, see the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, if, if it's going I, a little bit slow, it's because we're on Zoom and doing this all over. Yeah, I think it's my uh, my local dev is. There we go. Just oh. Give me a minute here. It was back. No, it's not. <laughs> so what Nick is working on, if you're listening here, is he's he's got two sites essentially. He's got the development side where he's building stuff and then brings it into what we all see. And then he's got the normal, just logged in as a normal Joe Blow user. I think he might well, have overwhelmed his computer. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I've got mine ready to rock. I can, I can do it. If need be, yeah, I'll pop. I'll, uh, Sonar, high oh, res. You know, it might be. Uh, hold on a second. Oh yeah, I don't have high res for that area. Uh -huh. <laughs> so no, we're we're good. We just don't have high res for uh, for Saint Lucie. So where do you want me to go next? Uh, so talk about how we export them. So I, I guess I guess the question I'm asking is, how can we make it easy for our users to export? an instance not having to do a route is there a way to do it where they just get you know every spot i mean i know that's that's out there where they could put it right into the unit like the actual um, gps yeah we yeah. can certainly set it up to export everything that's in here um for all the artificial reefs yeah uh, we haven't built it yet because we just launched this yesterday but we could set up something to export them um or you can create like back what we were saying you can actually create a route to the spots and I'll do that real quick and then hit finish and then you can save it. So now it's saved and then I can export and choose my podcast route. And then you choose your, uh, your format that your GPS device wants and then hit export GPX or KML file if you want to do that. Yeah, it's really, it does. It's really not hard. It's uh, it probably sound looks or sounds tougher than it is. I've, I did it before um, before we had directions for it just to figure it out. And it was it was actually really easy. You just have to know if it, most most units are that DMX uh, type file. Yep. And uh, and then you just get it, put it on a little card and put that card in your unit and it's there. You just have to like, you know, obviously upload it real quick from the unit. That was the toughest part is figuring out the unit side of it. The easiest part is getting on the getting on the chip. Exactly. Yes. So cool. So how many total spots? So right now we have uh, almost 6,500 artificial reefs loaded. Crazy. It's a lot of fish. Yeah. It is a lot of fish. And with water, I just got back from the Bahamas and, you know, it was, it was a perfect day. First day we went out, you could see the bottom and we're in, you know, 25, 30 feet of water. So, I mean, you could literally see everything and we're kind of going slow. We had, we had a spot. It was a, a ship that was, that was there and it's just sand. Like a lot of these places right off Florida, it's just sand, it's barren. You don't see anything. And then all of a sudden we saw the shadow of the ship down there in 30 feet of water. And it was, it was, it was not, it was the craziest thing I've ever seen there. It was a hundred percent loaded with fish i mean the second we even like even sort of messing with the chum bag it was like these fish knew all of a sudden you just saw this fish show and uh it, it was it was it was absolutely crazy 
Um, I'll have to get some of the the footage to show you guys in a separate video, but it was nuts. And we just caught fish till we were, we were tired and power prawn caught some of the bigger fish, which was pretty cool. Didn't catch as many. Um, you know, there was a lot of little small grunts and stuff like that, but the power prawn was catching legit gr keeper grouper, big mangrove snapper and a little strawberry grouper. Uh, really, really nice. cool. Yeah. What jig head did you have rigged on? That would have half half ounce of the football jig head, the hoss. Nice half ounce there, and then we went deeper and uh, and fifty feet and caught some some big fish. And I used the uh, same hoss, but not the not. We do, do we have one ounce? Just came in. Yep, it wasn't one ounce, and it was whatever the, the next three quarter. Probably three quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't believe how many reefs are off there off the Panhandle. Like just south of like Panama City, there were an absolute ton of. Them. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, you know what? That's your boy Alex uh, Fog. Remember, remember him? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's the lionfish killer, and and that's part of his job with FWC is to deploy these ships and containers and old blocks. And he, they did like 180 of them in a short amount of time, all off of Panam Panama City to like Pensacola area. So I guarantee if you look at some of those, they're all probably in the last five to six years. There's going to be a cluster of them. Might, might be that one off Mexico Beach there. I mean, that that's crazy. And Nick, yeah. is, there, is there high resonance in that area? Uh, yeah, there is. I think so curious to see what some of those things are so the blue is barge right so there must be some big old stuff down there yeah you can kind of see it it's right there there's there's the battleship oh yeah there. sure enough that's crazy so amazing um, that you can actually see steel it. steel barge and scrap steel it looks like and then there's tires on this side almost feel bad for the fish they don't stand a chance you see all their hideouts <laughs> have you seen videos of when they sink some of these like these old container ships and stuff uh, when i was we were researching getting all the information for this i saw a video where they just sunk one of this i don't know it was like a 250 foot freighter it's it's impressive when they send that thing down hmm. it's really really cool yeah but kids don't try that at home no Obviously, a lot goes into that. They have to make sure there's nothing there, you know, obviously gas tank, anything that would have chemicals or anything that could contaminate has obviously been removed. And it's basically just steel at that point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is. That is really fascinating. Yeah, it's really fascinating. Um, and, and speaking of cool views, if you haven't seen this 4K view, it is sick. I mean, it reminds me of tv back in the old days if you ever go back to like the old tube tv like if you're at someone's hunting camp or something and all they have is an old school one and you're like how did we used to watch sports and things on an old school tv before hd right now every every tv has hd now even 4k 5k and that's what it reminds me of i mean google is is excellent google satellite maps but the 4k puts google to shame it is crazy. And the, you know, Nick added being in there also, but this 4k, this is something that companies that sell the same kind of stuff are charging a lot of money for them. They'll charge a hundred dollars just for a region, uh, not to mention the whole state be thousands of dollars. And we're giving it to our members completely complimentary in uh, the smart fishing spots uh, app. And it works on your phone, works on your tablet, works on your pooter. It uh, works everywhere. And uh, it just keeps getting better every single day. I made Luke laugh there. He liked that. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. Nick, if you toggle back on the, the normal Google map and then go to this high res. Look at that. Not even close. The, the normal Google map I used to think was was good or great. I, I used to think it was amazing. And then when you compare it to this this high res, the, the 4K, it's it's a whole different ball game. You can see everything. It, it is absolutely amazing. All right, so go back to Google now, Nick. Look at that. That's crazy. Here's Bing. Bing's a little bit better. Google. Oh! Like putting <laughs> polar, polarized glasses on for the first time. Yeah, it's basically what it's like. It's like having yeah. glasses. And, and, and again, the really cool thing is that now with this one platform, we have three different maps. And you can it's all just one tap away for everything. 
So um, there are some some areas that don't have this 4K. And for, for that, you have the option of Google and Bing right there at your fingertips. And then pretty much where 4K is available, that's going to be the best one. So just, just to be repeater, because I know not everyone listens to every podcast, Nick, let's go through everything here on these layers. Just okay. so everyone knows, yeah, we already talked about the reefs. We've shown the 3D, we've shown the marine, which sonar, and then normal satellite to the 4K. We also yep. have every boat ramp. We got seagrass, oyster, oyster beds, and then the smart spots, which is really why this platform got the name Smart Fishing Spots. So kind of go through each one and show everyone what it looks like. Sure. So uh, do you want to go up starting with smart spots? Yeah. Sure. So here are the smart spots, and maybe Luke wants to explain what these are. Yeah, so the smart Jim spots, this is some just intelligence we have in the platform. It, it looks at the time you're going to be fishing, so that bottom little scroll bar is going to be the day that you're going to be out there and the time. And then based on the current flow, based on the wind direction, based on the wind speed, the season, it factors in all those equations. This is real-time weather forecast we're talking about, not not like uh, the old map you buy in, in Walmart that has a fixed spot that, you, that says you need to go there. This is actually reactionary to the currents and weather. Um, and so that for whatever given time you're going to be fishing, this will highlight the areas that are most likely to have the most feeding fish, right? It's obviously not going to be perfect, as nothing will, but this is the most accurate um spot forecasting platform that is uh that is really ever that i've ever seen because it actually reacts to the real-time weather forecast and i believe it's a is it 14 day out nick if i remember right uh yes that's two weeks i rarely actually plan that far ahead it's usually gonna be like one or two days out that i start that i start using it but so you can play plan 14 days out obviously the weather changes and so will the spots so you know i usually do it the, the night before or the morning of, and sometimes when I'm on the water, right? If I'm on the water, nothing's working. All right, backup plan. Let's see some other spots to go try out. So it's been really helpful, and, uh, and it's had some amazing reviews. Seeing a lot of people going out catching the first slams, yeah, simply by just using this uh, this this new feature. Yep, and yeah, the testimonials are just coming in every every day. Of, of to your point, Luke. Oh my gosh, just got my first slam, or oh, I'm brand new to the area. We have seems to be a lot of people moving, you know, down to down to Florida and into Texas and uh just the south in general. And people like, man, I moved here. I've fished in let's just say New York, New Hampshire my whole life, didn't know what I was doing. I use their smart fishing spots and like holy smokes, just had one of my best days ever. Um, so cool to see that happen. Whoa, what Nick are you doing? You're going out of control. Uh, <laughs> I'm adding more layers. So I added look at that. Oyster beds and seagrass, along with smart spots. Yeah, and some some people you know don't like to have the spots highlighted, and that's cool. And I personally don't like to find my own. But but the amazing thing on this is just knowing where the oysters and or grass are is crucial for finding the the best spots. And so this just makes it easier for you, right? It have it has all the oyster bars loaded. You can literally tap the uh, the oyster layer. And now you'll see all the oysters highlighted in this bright white. And so that has been my favorite thing for, for at least around Tampa Bay, Charlotte Harbor, pretty much the whole Gulf Coast of Florida that doesn't have a whole ton of oysters. If you find some oysters, you're going to be on some fish. And this literally makes it where you will absolutely get into some good spots simply by just following that. Um, and you can see the oysters over the different type of layers like, like Nick is showing. This has the marine chart where it shows the depths and the depth contours, uh, or you can use the regular Google map, you can use the regular Bing map, or you can use the 4K in this in this area. And uh, it's it's amazing. Like, again, I just wish this was available, you know, 15, 20 years ago when I was having to learn everything the hard way. Really amazing platform. Yeah, because that one little area there, it, it nicks off of it now, but it had <laughs> a bunch of oyster clusters and yep. then grass around it. And then a little cut where it went from like two feet to 10 feet, uh, right? So that's usually a sign. It's kind of in between two little islands there. It's up kind of your top center. And that would be like a spot I would definitely be trying out uh, yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, that area and a little bit higher it went up to 10 feet in that one little cut. So, you know, there's, you oh, know yeah, there's right. current. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of moving water. And uh, it's got everything you possibly 
could uh, could ask for right there. And, and guess where I caught a ton of where I filmed a bunch of videos when I lived in, in uh, Pine Island and Bokelia right there. Like literally that cut, like Joe, you know, that uh, that time I took Otis out the first day we got the slam shady paddle tail. Yep. I caught a redfish like literally on the top part of that grass. And then on the other on the other side of that mangroves when I when I caught that grouper that got me way up in the mangroves and uh, and got him out. And then had some good topwater snook action on that Mondongo um, rocks down there. So like, again, we literally just picked a random spot, followed the followed the oysters, and this led us to like one of my favorite spots that I used to fish over in that area. So sick. And we're adding more stuff every day, literally. That's why this thing keeps getting smarter. So uh, it, it'll look different next week it'll look different next year etc and uh and it's using human intelligence plus artificial intelligence so we got our fishing coaches are in here every day you know adding new spots and then the system basically how we built it is to 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 basically pick the spots on all these different variables including what season it is luke mentioned a lot of the other ones and uh we're getting new data in you know depending on exactly what it is every 15 minutes to an hour worst case i believe and so all this is updating constantly just to give you every advantage possible. And, the, and and we've had some people who've said, all this is unfair, right? All right. If this fishing is never going to be that easy where this is just unfair, right? And you're just going to catch a slam every time you hit the water, but we do want advantages, right? We want, I want an every advantage possible. Same reason that you might have a troll motor, same reason you might have a boat over wading boots. I um, mean, we all want every advantage possible. Our time is so valuable. We're all, you know, got so many things going on in our lives. When I hit the water and I get a hall pass, and same with you, I'm guessing if you're like me, you want to maximize your time. And that's what this is about. It's uh, it's about giving you every advantage possible to make sure that you got tight lines and that you don't come home looking like the person who didn't catch anything, smelling like a skunk. That's just, it's not fun. And we've all been there. Uh, so that that is our goal is that you are catching fish, getting tight lines, coming back with memories, coming back with a, a phone filled with uh, with fish picks and uh, and not just the memory of a, of a sunset and, and wishing that you caught a fish. Call that a skunk set. Yeah, not good. Mm. Say no to skunk sets. And this mm. is legit spots, too. Like, like I literally I want to say which one it is, but my biggest snook I've ever caught on artificial is 42 inches and it is in one of the yellow highlights there in the screen right now. So you can literally follow the just these spots and and get yourself into some really good fishing. And uh, obviously, we, we we part of the club. We train you on how to find your own spots, which is always always going to be better to to actually know exactly why every spot is good. But uh, but for somebody getting started out, this is just a huge hurdle um, to to really start getting into some really good spots quickly. But we do recommend for a yeah, part of being in the club, you get the find spots mastery course, and that'll lay the groundwork on on exactly how to 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 predict exactly where those fish are going to be feeding yep and so a lot of this stuff is is available if you want to pay thousands of dollars literally to have all this stuff at your fingertips i mean that the 4k view and then the 3d kind of underwater view i mean th those are out there available but it's all from companies who who charge and usually it's about a hundred dollars per region and once again we're giving it to you the entire we're, we're working on the whole country, but for now it's really Texas, you know, all the way up the, the East coast where the majority of our, our 35,000 members are. And uh, this is all complimentary to our insider members. Just another way to thank you and, and add more value to our members on top of the tackle discounts and on top of the insider reports that we're doing every single day. And on top of the amazing community where people are sharing what's happening in their area and sharing what's, what's working. This is a, me just I man, it's, it's, it's something we we built it because it's something we wished we had when when you know I, it's something I wish I had today, right? It's something that we really wish we had when we were starting out and we were we were weakened warriors and didn't have that much time to fish and half the times were frustrating and the other half were, were pretty good and we're like, man, why why can't it just be easier? It's got to be some shortcuts and uh, those maps didn't work. I mean, none of the none of the stuff really really worked and so we we created this because we are anglers like you and we know we know exactly what we want and uh nick was pulling up some weather stuff as i was talking and we said all right well let's not just solve the spots and show oyster bars and grass let's also give every single weather tool you can imagine and uh that was just from listening to our members saying hey what what apps are you using to go fishing and obviously we teamed up with wendy and uh and and 
because you're not going to be able to beat Wendy at, at the wind part of it. And so it's literally the Wendy app on there, uh, or not the Wendy app. It's the Wendy data. That's, that's another layer. And yep. it's got waves, clouds, temp, rain, radar, everything. You can even, yeah, see the, I use the radar a lot just to see if you see some clouds building up, just to know which way they're going, just to make sure that you're safe. That's a big safety factor is just knowing the, the direction of storms, how big they are, and if they have lightning or not. And so this this platform will help help you navigate around that as well. And yep. obviously the tides as well, it has all the tides information. It was, it's literally a one-stop shop for everything you need for inshore fishing is, is really what it was designed for. Now this this reef stuff is making it incredibly helpful for, for the near shore and offshore anglers as well. So this has now become a kind of full service, you know, saltwater fisherman uh, platform. Pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Yep. So go check it out. Like I said, we uh, just launched these GPS spots and it sounds like Nick will be working on making them super easy for you to export any and all of them if you, uh, if you want. But of course you can do that right there in the tracks. And uh, if you don't have access to this yet, what the heck are you waiting on? So I'm going to grab you by the hand and share where to fish every trip. That's what we're doing. And that's just one of the things that we do in the Salt Strong Insider Club, which is why we have 35,000 members and growing every day. And uh, we will be raising prices. We keep saying it. Um, you know, a lot of it, we want to make sure that this is all, you know, not perfect because nothing's ever perfect, but we want to make sure that we have every feature possible on here and then we'll, we'll be raising the price. But if you join today or if you're already a member and you've already joined, you're locked into your rate. Your rate will never change. It's the way we wish companies treated us, right? Uh, how cool it would have been to to get in early on Amazon Prime and still only be paying seventy dollars versus one hundred and thirty right now. So that's what we're doing. We grandfather our members in as long as you're active, right? You can't leave and then come back. Uh, so it's 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 a way to reward people who are loyal and uh, and stick with the club. But as long as you're an active club member, you're locking in your rate and grandfathered in for life for as long as you're an active member. So. Uh, make sure to get in now if you haven't already and get access to this pretty uh, pretty phenomenal and like i said or as luke said we're doing it for inshore and and near shore and now offshore as well and a whole lot more stuff to come nick anything else to add i think that's it for now luke, so the next any, update anything else no yeah get it out you try it and and, and we'd like to hear your feedback as well yeah. so get in there and, and just let us know what uh what you love about it and then what what could be improved and this is our main focus is to make sure this is as awesome as possible it's pretty stinking awesome right now and and we are going to continually make updates to it uh really throughout the year and, and beyond so um so get in there check it out and and we're here to make it even better for you yeah yep. and if you are a member and you're wondering how do i get it just log into saltstrong.com and it's right on the home page just scroll down a little bit you'll see the button where you can access it just like an app easy breezy lemon squeezy all right guys we appreciate you big time and we will talk to you on the next episode go to saltstrong.com if you're a member you'll see it there if you're not a member go to saltstrong.com and you'll see a place to join us today to get unlimited access for an entire year or hopefully for many, many years to come. But it is an annual type of uh, membership. So guys, we appreciate you big time and we'll talk to you on the next episode. Peace. See ya. Be good. See ya.